I'm here. Hey. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the Healing Corner. I'm excited to have two amazing Empress Goddesses here with me, creator, co creators of the universe. You know okay. what I'm saying? Bring it change to the world. <laughs> so, right now, I got here with me. Go ahead and introduce yourself, girl. Um, I'm Latasha, Coach Latasha. I'm a spiritual coach, well, international self love and spiritual coach. Um, I, right now I am, uh, coaching, well, I was coaching a, a teenager, but I'm coaching his mother, uh, now. So, um, just teaching people how to love themselves properly. Um, also with their spiritual journey, those that are on their spiritual journey, I do, uh, coaching for that. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so we do also have, um, Coach Yams that's about to join us here too. So we're gonna um, let her go ahead and um, expound on her her site as well. As soon as this comes through, y'all Instagram. I don't know what's going on with y'all. It's Instagram. something with the connection. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey. 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 How y'all? <laughs> well, we all go ahead and let Coach Jens introduce herself. What you do? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> my name is Yamana Mitchell, owner of Healing Is Work Coaching. And I help women make more money landing leadership roles or just getting into jobs that are fulfilling for them. Um, and all of that starts with inside. It's an inside job. You have to care for yourself. You have to be intentional. Um, and you have to make a decision and then make choices that align with those decisions to get what the results that you want to see. And I'm here to hold you accountable for that. Yes, I love it. All right. So shout out to everybody that's in our chat. We appreciate y'all. Don't forget to share this so that other people can join us before we really get into the nitty gritty. But we are going to go ahead and kind of talk to, you know, um, Latasha more about what she does in her spectrum of life coaching. Because I know life coaching is like the main topic that we kind of go on, but this is a everyday thing. So there's a lot of different aspects that can be covered when it comes to that. So I'm going to let her get into what she does and then we'll just go forward with that. Okay, so I'm similar to uh, Coach Yams or Coach Amina um, as far as like the inner work. That's what I, my target is, is the inner work um, because that exudes um, out, outside of you, right? Um, it also helps you become balanced with your job or career or your business um, and your love life. So um, I more target like um, traumas. Well, I don't want to say traumas because I'm not um, licensed to do that. But um, I am certified into figuring out what people have uh, been trying to grow through and help them look at things from a different perspective. Um, also, those that are on their spiritual journey, um, the journey is very lonely. So um, I'm just like a friend to, to those. That's how I try to approach all of my clients is, uh, as a friend, but somebody that holds you accountable, mm -hmm. um, that helps you see things from a higher perspective. Um, that helps you let go of things that need to be let go of, um, you know, stuff like that. One of my, um, one, one thing I specialize in too is with children. I have a, a very strong bond with children so ever since I was a child. So I know how to approach children. Um, one of, I, one of my clients was a teenager, um, that I was helping him that spiritually gifted. So I do help those that, um, are, they have gifts, but they don't know how to use them or utilize them or they don't understand them. So I can help uh, bring clarity to them so they know how to use those in the future. That's beautiful. What do you find that's most challenging when it comes down to, you know, helping the teens or helping the younger generation? They have to be ready for it. And mm -hmm. what I'm finding is like the client that I was working with, he just recently told me that he doesn't feel that he's ready. And I, you know, I accepted that. And I told him I, he was a little nervous to tell me because I think he was feeling pressure and I was, you know, letting him know there's no pressure. You know, everybody's not ready to accept who they are, you know, especially as a teenager, you want to be like other individuals. So I explained to him that he has to get to that point to where he's ready. Right. So um, but it's, it's the main thing is you have to be ready to accept who you are and be ready um, to be understanding that you're not going to be the same as everybody else. And it's a great thing to be different, right? It's a great thing to for people to think you're, you're quote unquote weird, 
because it's not weird, right? It's just you're different. And you don't want to be like um, the bots per se out here. So it's more, the more challenging thing with teenagers is them uh, wanting to accept who they are. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. What about for um, the parent dynamic? How does that look like you having to, you know, kind of be like the middleman between their parents and them? Mm -hmm. You know, what does that look like? Well, for me, luckily, the parent was understanding and she knew that her son was gifted um, because she um, was told by another reader that, you know, he was a gifted child. So for me, it was just like having her be being patient with him because he's still discovering himself. He was only 14, so he still needed to discover himself. So it's more of teaching the parents how to accept that they're going to go through these different changes, but when they're ready, just have that door open for them so they can let you know, okay, I'm ready to learn more about myself or learn about my gifts per se. Okay. Okay. So what do you see like in the near future? Do you see this being something that we're going to need to like have more people doing this type of work or do you know anybody else besides yourself that has that type of experience? I don't personally know um, anybody, but I feel like there are other coaches that are similar to me. I definitely feel that it will be essential because I feel like more people are waking up, more people are discovering that they're gifted, especially children, um, because they're going to be the next leaders. So I feel like it's definitely going to be essential for us to, uh, you know, reach out and help heal or prevent trauma in a sense, right? Um, because we don't always want to have to help somebody that's been through a traumatic experience if we can actually prevent them from going through what we've been through or what their parents been through. Yeah. So yeah, I definitely feel like this is something, um, This what we all do is needed and is required, absolutely. Okay. Okay, well, I, I want Coach Jams to kind of jump in and kind of say what, what's going on in your mind. Uh, yeah, I absolutely agree. I think that um, the more that people start to wake up and realize that healing is essential, then we can start to tackle it earlier on than just figuring it out halfway through your 30s or whenever you decide, oh, let me try something different. Um, and I do. I feel like having that support early on, um, equipping adults with the tools to be a support system while their children explore themselves um, is really important because the thing is is that all of us are all of us adults we're just the inner child that's wanting to get out and be free and live life and do what feels fulfilling to us anyway and so if we can tap into that early on and not stifle it through required education systems and whatever other setups then you know, the world could, people could start to figure out themselves individually early on and live their purpose earlier on than having to make a major life shift or whatever the case may be, like what it feels like for me. I went into accounting because I knew I had to do something to make a living and make my way. Traumas in childhood stifled my voice and things like that. And I'm just now emerging and able to like birth my purpose into this world. But it took a whole lot of you know, undoing and redoing to get here. And so to have that support early on is so very important. So I love the work that you do, sis. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. And I was going to say, um, do you think this is something that we could like structure into where people either take classes and then proceed to do it? Or do you think it would be something that's like, you don't need to have a license. This is something that um, the community we could just like put inside you know how would we structure how do you think it should be structured with you already have de dealt with this before I would say that it would def it, hmm, it's gonna have to be at, at the adult level because the adults are the ones that are paying for this yeah. and so the adults are gonna have to be on board in some regard to healing and space to learn tools and skill sets as a necessity mm -hmm. yeah yeah, um, oh. yeah. And I okay. do know that there are programs that, or one program in particular that I just became aware of, but um, it's, I think it's called Be Well in something, but it's, they have, um, they're in Nashville in different schools. And this is a space where kids can go to regulate themselves and get themselves back together middle of the day in school 
because sometimes, you know, shit happens. Yes. And so even just that being a piece of this is support. Um, and then educating the parents on what supporting looks like. I don't think that everybody has to be certified, but I do feel like having access to what support looks like um, and maybe language of how to approach certain things would be a real good start. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so the same question. Latasha, what do you what what do you see when it comes to like being the hands on the teacher, the one that's in there? What would you see um, would be an ideal setting, or what, what do you think this is something that we could do in a, as a group, like one teacher kind of life coaching? How many you know um, students for it to not impact you know too many people at one time? You you guys right. get what I'm saying? Yeah. So how do you how do you see that from the inside of it? I think um, like doing group sessions and stuff like that um, could definitely work. Absolutely. Um, I don't feel like necessarily you have to be licensed unless it's dealing with some sort of trauma, but certification for sure to know how to handle um, different walks of life per se. Um, but yeah, I think that it, you can definitely do like a group session. Um, that's something that I, I definitely want to do is like uh, do sessions or um, like where I can travel, perhaps maybe even to different high schools or middle schools or something um, to offer um, some sort of, you know, uh, teaching. Um, yeah, some sort of course or something like that. Absolutely. I like, I like that. That, um, that be well. I'm going to have to look into that because, you know, I'm trying to move. So yeah. <laughs> maybe yeah. like person I can join. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know they're always looking for volunteers. Okay. So, yeah. And you said it's every, you said it how many states or where where are they located? So they're in Nashville. I feel like she said uh, the the woman I spoke to was over it. She said they're in eight or nine schools. I want to say okay. so they're expanding. Nice. Um, yeah, and I just I really love what she's doing, and I'm trying to figure out how partnering with what they're offering, how I could further support that because yeah, kids. Yeah being well and then the adults being able to support them being well and then them being well themselves all of this it just it feeds itself and it can be a really uh beautiful thing if we allow it to be and it, yeah. it's um paving out the way for the future too you know because yeah. eventually we're not going to be here and who's going to be left over mm -hmm. <laughs> the youth that are finding themselves in their teens yes <laughs> yes <laughs> All right. Um, so, Latasha, another thing that you do, I know you, what was it that you was um, telling me about uh, besides life coaching? Kind of expand a little bit more about those other things that you do. I don't want to just pin it on one thing. So uh, I do self-love coaching. Um, you know, self-love is essential to finding love outside of ourselves, right? Because we have to find love within ourselves. We're, we're, we're whole, right? So, or we have to become whole. And what you become is what you attract, right? Or what you are is what you attract. So if you want a healthy love, you got to love yourself in a health, healthy way. So I teach uh, people or coach people on how to properly love themselves. Um, again, it's all about changing a mindset, Um and a, a lot of affirmation work because I am, <laughs> I have to do affirmations all the time, you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so um, it's just like trying to teach people a different way of thinking, basically, and looking at themselves, right? Um, not worrying about outside opinions, you know, focus on how you feel about yourself, right? Because you have to live with yourself at the end of the day. So um, that's one thing I do then, you know, as well as I'm a fellow reader. So I read energy, um, been very intuitive since uh, my whole life. I got almost all the clairs. So uh, <laughs> I tap in. <laughs> yeah, I can tap in with energy in different ways. Uh, big visionary. So um, that also helps, too, with coaching, though, because I'll get random downloads about somebody I'm talking to. It helps a lot. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay. I think this is amazing. I think this is amazing. I don't know if there's anybody that's listening to us that has some input on this, but we definitely, even if you don't say it right now, make sure that you send me an email or reach out and let us know because this sounds like something that's expanding from what Coach Ann says. There's already programs that are kind of 
getting set up in that type of way. So this could definitely be something futuristic and with mm-hmm. something that we could bring into this, you know, this realm. Cause we really need to start changing that. Cause like I, like I've told y'all in the previous, uh, the healing corner that I talked about how I'm seeing a lot of childhood trauma hitting my board when I do my tarot readings. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the best thing to prevent having the trauma is to take care of it. You know what I'm saying? Before it happens. So I'm so happy that we actually have that actually going on. Mm-hmm. Um, what other things do you guys want to add to this? Cause we got like five minutes or 10 minutes. <laughs> I would say that uh, the biggest thing to know would be that, that I don't feel like there's prevention of trauma altogether but it does not have to be as intense or as detrimental an experience Mm -hmm. as we may have experienced. Um, And so traumas, I've read books where some people call it big T and little T traumas. And so all these different things shape us. um, And it's, it's part of living. It's part of being a human. Um, But yeah, preventative work, it makes, it it makes a difference. It's to add to that too is, you know, even though we experience certain traumas, we have to also look at it as it could be a lesson to us, too. Um, Like, it's not that it's deserving or anything like that, but uh, it's something that teaches us about ourselves, right, and how to handle certain situations and um, how to grow from it, right? Because we grow through um, some of the experiences that we've had, right? That's the whole purpose is how to grow from it and how to become stronger from it, how to become wiser from it. Um, so it, it can teach us a lot of lessons too. So um, again, it's like a, looking at things from a different perspective or a higher perspective, right? Um, even though some of the things that we went through may have hurt, but what's, what was the lesson in it all? What was I supposed to learn from it? Um, I think that's... Um, something that we can teach or you know people that's been through some things yeah yeah. definitely agree um there's a lesson in everything a lesson in everything you're paying attention yep um i was gonna read the uh chat we got cosines and tangents podcast Mm -hmm. um this is amazing we are products of a traumatized world yes exactly And it's like, mm-hmm. if we can, like, just like how Coach Yam said, not all the time, we can't prevent total trauma, but the more and more we evolve, which is like, you know, the children starting to come as a part of the evolution, they're being born into this. Right. The more they clear the trauma or the impact of the trauma that we have on this planet, basically. So I, I think that that's amazing. And another thing I'll add is just, you know, you doing your own work adds to the collective improving. So yeah. take care of you. Yeah. Take care of you. That is an essential part of this collective healing and awakening and hell freedom <laughs> from doing stuff the way we've always felt like we've had to do it. Mm-hmm. Yes, absolutely. Latasha, how you are saying, like, you do the uh, self-care, and it's like, you could also assist the parent, you know, if there is a parent that maybe is not aware that they Mm -hmm. have a child. Because sometimes, especially when we get these things established, kids will reach out to you. And if Mm -hmm. their parent is, you know, who knows what type of lifestyle they've been through and what type of setting or mind state they're in. And they Mm -hmm. might need that uh, mediator between them and their parent to... Mm -hmm get the help that they need because not all parents like you said this parent uh, you know fortunately reached out to you but right. some as they're they're traumatized themselves so they're they're not gonna be as welcoming sometimes or we might meet resistant if this is something that the mm-hmm. community spiritual community starts to do you know mm-hmm. so it, it's it's just like a lot of uh, different things oh and i like okay in the chat You said working with these issues, especially with the kids, is key. Exactly. Exactly. It's like getting to the root of it almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you start to sprout, you start seeing all this craziness growing. And you're like, Mm -hmm. I thought I planted, you know, beans and I'm getting poison ivory. What's going on? (laughs) No? Yes, because the parents will pass their trauma on to their kids and not knowingly, right? You don't think about it. 
but that's what happens. You know, that's what I realized that I did with my own daughter was I had passed some of my childhood trauma unto her. And I, when I started to heal from that, I had to go acknowledge that to her, you know, so she can yeah. start healing from that as well. Right. Yeah. Cause healing starts also with acknowledgement, especially from your parents. Right. That helps a lot. That helps lift the weight off your shoulders. So yeah, uh, definitely uh, being a mediator between the parent and the child uh, will be essential. Um, you know, like you said, some may be resistant, but um, it's, it's the attempt and it's to put it in their mind because even if they react in a negative way at first, it's still in their head, right? Yeah. So they may think ab about it later and, and put more thought into it to how they can change or acknowledge this to their child. Yeah, right, right. And once you've opened then, that door, you can't unsee it. I mean, you mm -hmm. can try to, but it's then you're just fighting against reality. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. Well, I usually do like a gym, but I wanted to see if Lata Tasha, if you would be interested in doing like a gym or giving us something to before we close out. Child, you don't put me on the spot. <laughs> you, you, I'll do it. You can do it this time, cause okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was just wondering. I was like, I don't want to do it if if you if you gonna do it, but if you ain't, then I definitely will. Okay, you're ready for next time. I, I will be. I, I'm, I, I got a deal because I didn't have to before we got on here, so I definitely put you on the spot. But I'll get us a gym. What's a a gym? Something that we could use for this healing cornerstone session. We got light amethyst. Mm -hmm. I can see. That. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's number seven. That's interesting because I seen fifty two before I started talking about them. Okay, so let's see. Number seven is this year. This is the year of the seven, which is spiritual the growth. Wow. So, yeah, that's perfect. All right. So this is connected to the element of air in Uranus, and it's also connected to our third eye. Okay, and of course we know amethyst, powerful for that. Um, it says, the benefit, it quiets the mind and reduces stress. Mm -hmm. Message that this uh, gym has given us, independent of our gender, in this period, we are developing our feminine part. Intuition, beauty, and creativity, sweetness have an important part in our lives. We are capable of caring for others and being empathic regarding their problems. We are an important point of reference for friends and family. And then it says the power, um, the, let's see, where is he? The, the amethyst calms tensions and irritation and is very useful for re relaxation. It has the power to pacify the mind and help those who suffer with insomnia and restless sleep. So yeah, that's that. Like amethyst. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I want you guys to shout out what what um you have going on, other than that, and then we're gonna go ahead and close it out with y'all pages and stuff like that. So, Coach Yam, you can start off. Okay. Um, you know, if you're looking for <laughs> some accountability and you're wanting to make shifts in your life, and you might not know how to go about doing that on your own. Book a call with me at Chat with Yams. That's Chat with Yams, Y A M Z dot com. We can have a 10 minute conversation to see if us working together would be a good fit and what that would look like. Um, if you want to just follow me in general about all the things that I've got going on, I'm in Nashville. Um, you can go to my link in my bio and it's going to give you all my socials and all the other things that I've got going on. Okay. Okay, Latasha. Okay, so um, you can currently um, I just have coaching. So I have coaching uh, spots available. I have five spots available, um, whether in self love or spiritual coaching. You can actually book that at my on my website spiritualkeyessential.com. Um, you also can follow me on Instagram at a spirit uh, a ask a s k underscore essential. Um, and then also my YouTube channel, A Spiritual Key Essential, where I do readings. I do readings for um, spiritual journey, uh, monthly readings, and I also do like love readings, uh, general readings and stuff like that. 
Okay, cool, cool, cool. All mm-hmm. right, well, if y'all are new to the, you know, video and you don't know who I am, I'm Deb with Deb's Healing Cornerstone Intuitive. You can check me out on YouTube. You can check me out on TikTok. I have a Facebook as well. So definitely go ahead and check those out. And Shorts channel too. All right, well, <laughs> go ahead and just get up out of here y'all we definitely appreciate everybody who has participated or took the chance to listen maybe this was a seed that was planted in your mind maybe this will also reach some more people and get them more active in the community and kind of assist in this but we're gonna go ahead and get up off of here y'all yeah. Cindy, how much love deuces bye y'all